dream I had in 2009. Okay. Now this dream um, was takes place on a military base. This military base is very close to where I live now. Okay. I'm in the second story of this building. There is the commander, two military men with me, me and a baby. I'm holding this baby and we're looking through this huge plate glass window. We're looking down and there are GIs down there. There are military people down there. They are on computers. They are going through a maze on these computers. When they finish those mazes on these computers, the ones that get out the quickest and they do it the best, they take they transport them to another area on base and they put them through the exact same maze physically, which means they they're like little rats. They just go in this maze and the ones that get out the quickest and do it at the best time, they put on a bus and they transport. So I'm wanting to see where they're going. So I hop on the bus, got my baby in hand, hop on the bus, and I mean I can still see it like it was yesterday. I mean, we're coming down this um long windy hill in the bus. And, you know, you're seeing beautiful trees and stuff like that all around. You know, you're coming down, coming down, coming down. When we get down in there, they stop the bus. To the left of us is a row of apartment buildings, three stories high. The um, stairwell is on this end of it. To the right is a church on the edge of town with a big tree behind it. Behind the church, there are two long buildings like warehouse buildings here and here in another street the other way all right these military people get off this bus and they are in the line and they are told to and there's and there's other um military people with weapons i mean they're in military garb it's not united states military garb i don't know what kind of is. but uh they got in the line, and I was in the line, and, it, and we were going to the first building, and it was a white building. These were white buildings, but they were worn down and just looked junky. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me in dream, and he told me, go to the other line. Okay, and as we were going in, out of the other building, there were some that were coming out, and they were heading to the um, apartments across the road. So I, I don't, I, God had to make me invisible because I walked over just, you know, out of the other line with this baby and, and here we go the other way. Okay. I get to the apartment complex and I go, I start going up the stairs. Well, I hear running, um, behind me and I look down and there are, I think it was three men. Let me, sh let me look, let me check. Uh, I don't want it because I know that that may be, you know, something that's um, a major thing. Okay. A woman, a child, and three men. Okay. Now, these men had guns. I mean, they had weapons in their hands. And they were ready to kill me and that child. And the woman told them no. And, and probably because she had this, you know, five-year-old kid with her, a beautiful little girl. Now, these people look to be of Spanish descent. Now, whether they were or, or not, I don't, I don't know. But, you know, they, they had the coloring of someone that was of Spanish descent. Anyway, this little girl, this, this part of the dream is so, it blew my mind away. Now, I was, I was on the third, um, what do you call those things? landing i was on the landing when they when they got to me and i was sitting down i was holding the baby and the and the woman and the little girl came closer to me and um i took the baby and i handed the baby to the woman and she, you know she took the baby and then i took her baby and i put her baby in my lap this is what is so weird i am unwrapping the very angel that that little girl had in her hands. This angel I have had for a long time. Um, my house 
was destroyed by fire and I um, acquired this after um, at a uh, flea market and it was one of the first ornaments that I had on my tree that, that year. It was very, very special to me. Okay, the little girl was holding this, this angel. And I looked at it and I was like, dude, that's my angel. <laughs> I didn't say it out loud, you know, but I thought it in my mind. Oh, that's my angel. So I put her in my lap and I said, you know, whoever owned this angel must have loved Jesus very, very much. Do you know who owned the angel before? No, she didn't know. Well, where'd you get it? It was in one of the houses that my daddy burned. Okay. So, um, I knew at that point that my house was gone. My house was lost. I had no home to go to. Okay. So, uh, I was able to witness to this little girl. I witnessed Jesus to in the dream. And I don't remember if she accepted Christ or not, but I told her the story about Jesus and, and um, you know, how we as Christians celebrate Christmas and, and don't get started on, you don't have a tree, blah, blah, blah. That's not uh, the purpose of this video. But um, at any rate, um, I gave her, you know, I, you know, I handed the angel back to her, you know, because I was holding it while I was talking to her. And, I, and then, you know, we exchanged children and uh, they let me go. They went back down the stairs and, and went and did something else. So at this point, I go on, on the landing on that third floor and the third door down, I go to the left and I walk through it and it is full of people in uh, folded chairs and they're just telling how um you know how god saved them how they got to where they were that day and there was a woman that stood up and she came to the front and the lord spoke to me and he said she is a witch expose her and so i did in the dream i told her i said you are here to deceive these people and i rebuke you in the name of jesus and when i said that her face peeled off. Her face peeled off in the ugliest demon I've ever seen. Okay, not the ugliest one I've ever seen, but an ugly demon come out of that woman. Okay. And everyone was afraid and, and but um that being it. I left after my work there was done, I left back down, went back down the road. The Lord told me to go into the second building. Got my baby. I go into the second building and walk in the door. And there is a military, a young military man, probably in his 20s, maybe 30s. You know, I'm I'm almost 50, and he was really young. And they had him on a stainless steel exam table. Hands, you know, arms and legs on, I mean, he was, he was stuck on there. They had him strapped to it. He could not get down. He was screaming, trying to get off and everything. And out of the corner came this man and he had a chainsaw and he turned that chainsaw on and he started coming toward me and I put my hand out and I said in the name of Jesus Christ stop and he stopped you could see every muscle in his face twitching in his neck his hands when he was he had some hate for me and um, that's the power that you have in Christ. I'm telling you. The word of God says. That if you have the faith of a grain of mustard seed. You can say to this mountain. Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. And whatever you ask of my name. I will do it. If it's in his will. It will be done. Okay. So while he's wanting to kill me. With this um, chainsaw now. I go and I, I unhook the young man. And he's thanking me, thanking me, thanking me. And he goes off and the Lord tells me to go to the left. So I go toward the church. And I'm thinking in my brain, okay, I'm going to go to the church. I'm going to hide. And, you know, because I, I didn't know what to do. And the, the Lord said, go to the tree. And if you know the Lord, you know that tree is representing the cross. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I... I went to the tree and I had the baby in my hand and I held the baby up, you know, in, 
in the tree like this, you know, up to, to where they couldn't see the baby. And I woke up, and that was it. And that was the end of the day. Neat part about this dream, guys. In 2010 or 11, I don't remember which one. I went to work, but um, I went to work on a base that was close to me. And um, what I did was environmental while I was there, and we were changing filters um, and paint booths and stuff. And, and uh, we went up these stairs. And when I got to the top of those stairs, and in a certain part of this building, that entire dream came right back. That was the base that this dream was on. Never had been in there before that point, and I dreamed about it years before. I also had a vision on my way to work one day that there was an active shooter on the top of that very building. That has not happened yet. Um, I expect it may at any day. I, I don't know. But at any rate, um, it was that it was that uh, exact army base. Love you guys. Follow Jesus. You don't have much time.